Hadi başlayalım abi. What's up guys? My name is Yusuf and welcome to YouTube. Today I would like to talk about the 10 facts about being Turks. So let's start with it. Number one, bir. Bir. So the first question that everybody asks in Turkey, memleket nere kardeş? That basically means where you're from. They just want to understand where in the borders of Turkey you're living. Number two, iki. Doesn't matter how old you are, if you're 30 years, if you're 40 years, if you have five, six kids, it doesn't matter. When you see an older person that holds you on the street and asks you, Kimler densin? Kimler densin means basically they're trying to understand in which family you belong to. It's interesting, right? Number three, üç. Üç. You know, you can do whatever you want, there's always never being enough. You can be in the Turkish League a champion in 2014, in 2015, when you lose two matches, they go nuts, they go crazy. They don't appreciate what you did before. You can, you can be the biggest hit in the world, but when you the following year don't do the same kind of results, they're gonna directly drop you. So there's never enough. You have to always go to the next step, to the next step, and to the next step. It can go crazy. İki olmaz, bir olacak, bir. I basically born and grew up in Germany as a Turkish immigrant. In Germany, you basically have in a school system uh, numbers for grades. So number one is basically an A grade here in America. Or number six is basically an F. So I think you get the idea. When I used to get a three, I used to come to my father and was like, oh look, I have a three. He's like, no three, no three, has to be two. The next exam I came back and I was like, Papa, Papa, I have a, I have a two, I have a two. He said, what two? You have to have a one, you have to have a one. <sighs> it's never enough, never. It's crazy, I know. Number four, dirt. You can be any place in around the world and watch like soccer matches, but you always will love a Turkish soccer team. 99% of the Turks will always love this one Turkish team from Istanbul. There are three major Turkish teams, they're all based in Istanbul. Galatasaray, Fenerbahce and Beşiktaş. Number five, Beş. The funny part is in Turkey or like generally when I grew up in Germany is when you drive from Germany to Turkey for example there's always a repetition or with your relatives going on. My father was saying oh I drove in 16 hours from Germany to Istanbul there will always be someone 16 hours I drove in 14 hours. Someone was saying 14 hours I drove in 8 hours. We didn't even stop we didn't even buy gas we didn't even shit we just shit in the car and we just drove 8 hours straight to Turkey. Okay. Number six, altı, altı. The funny part is in, in Turkey, any Turk, any Turk, that's a fact definitely, has a fake brand. Any Turk that you, is right now around you and ask them, hey dude, do you have a fake brand? They will always say, oh no, no, I don't have it. Yeah, I do. You do. You do have a fake brand article. You always have to like uh, fight with the person that, um, that is trying to sell you these items in the bazaar. They always say, oh, this is original Lacoste. Brother, Lacoste, five dollars for a shirt? Get the fuck out of here. Number seven, Yedi. In Turkey, there are so many TV series going on right now that you are sitting from Monday all the way to Friday and watching like bam, bam, bam, bam, bam, Turkish series. It is crazy. It doesn't matter if you talk about any big issues in the world or anything else. The, the TV is always running 24-7, straight out of TV. The funny part is that every series is basically almost the same. It's always a rich against poor. Poor becomes rich, the rich becomes poor, and then you see like a cycle through again. But every series is the same. And everybody's just crying. <laughs> just like fucking crazy. It's like... I think when you watch just one episode, you will get the idea. You know, you don't need to watch Monday to Friday. There must be someone, he wrote the story, and they're like, that's a really great story. We should, I think we should continue this for all the episodes of the future, for the next 20 years, 50 years. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds like a plan. Uh, I'm just, uh, but, but I was lucky. I just saved my ass and I'm just watching one series a week. Number eight, Sekiz. The funny part is that Turkish people always say every sentence on the end, ya. Ya bugün gelemeyeceğim ya. I can make it today ya. Ne var ne yok ya. Ya, ya. Number nine guys, Dokuz. A Turkish person says always, Brother. Turkish people always say brother. Even your mom you call a brother. Brother is a big thing in Turkish people. Even when you just know this guy for two minutes, you're my brother. When you go to a car dealership, always brother, I swear to God, this car is brand new. You're talking about it's from 2005. Yeah, but in 2005 it was brand new. Yeah. Number 10. 
on. Number ten is the it's it's one of the like one of the weird facts that I still doesn't understand at all. The funny part is when Turkish people buy like a phone or a TV or like a, a computer or laptop, they they always keep the keep the plastic that is like wrapped from the TV screen. There's always this little screen right to protect for scratches when you buy the screen. So yeah, they always keep that on. Uh, brother, do you want this? Do you want to sell this in a few years? Yeah. Okay guys, I hope you guys like this 10 facts about Turks. Uh, when you guys like to see more, let me know in your comments below. It was so much fun doing this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I hope you guys liked it. And I hope to see you guys soon again. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. And I will see you guys next time. Abone olmayı unutmayın. Güle güle!